Okay, so <clears throat> see, so I'm going to just shoot a, a video like on um, dealing with um, dealing with family or dealing with uh, stressful situations around family, and I think um, thank you. Um, so the main the main thing is to remember uh, if you remember uh, Dr. Hugh Len. Um, is the thing, and the thing with family dynamics and, and family karma, uh, is that um, uh, one will often be in situations where there's going to be a lot of karma with family, family situations, which are, is very triggering, mm -hmm. um, and or extremely triggering or traumatic, and that's that can happen. Uh, but if you look at the thing um, to give you hope and to give you inspiration, the story of Dr. Hugh Len. So Dr. Hugh Len was the story, and you can see this on YouTube, true story. You know, there was a guy, prison full of um, inmates in, in Hawaii, with violent criminals, and he, he just got their files and the data, like this person's a murderer, this person's a whatnot. And he, he, he cleared the data, he forgave them for, for what they had done. And then they all got well, and the whole prison closed down. So. That's the, so, so if, if on, a, on a field of consciousness we're all one, and if the person, as you're clearing your perceptions of what's wrong in the world, and you release that, you release that attachment to there being anything wrong in the world, uh, they're, they're also being affected because it's like there is a, there's a, there's a, a oneness dynamic. So I remember when I was doing that with my mother, she started to get better, become more loving. As I was just clearing all my perceptions and all my unforgiveness and all my judgments and all the things that I thought that she should be in a different way and life should be differently, well, I cleared that in myself, she started to be affected in a positive way. So the, the thing that then is then, so there's great power in clearing what you perceive as being wrong. I mean, you can take action as well, I'm not saying not to take action yeah. if you feel good. But there's great power in spiritually doing the work and clearing your perceptions of what's going wrong as you see it and releasing that. So uh, from Hawkins, you'd be going up levels of consciousness. As you, as you release uh, through forgiveness, through placing things into God's light and love or cancelling beliefs uh, in, in, in this or God did not create... Uh, God did not create bad family members, so they're not real. Or God did not create injustice in families, so it is not real. Or God did not create whatever it is in this family member. So as you start to clear that, and you sit with the feelings, you're also going to, because there's a lot of uh, karmic dynamics between family, you'll be also clearing their karma by you clearing your perceptions or your data, as it. So. For me, uh, I was very much inclined with my own mother not to try and tell her to change, but to change my perceptions of how I perceived her. And that was, that was very, very powerful. I didn't really want to tell her, like, you have to behave differently. I'm not saying that's always the case. Sometimes you have to intervene in some situations if you feel called to intervene. But I, I, I wanted to do it by, by clearing myself rather than telling the other person. But sometimes you do have to tell other people if that feels right. Um, so how do you do that? You know, the Course in Miracles, uh, whatever you see, like God did not create, uh, rel you know, God did not create uh, cruel relatives, so they're not real. God did not create um, injustice in this situation, so it is not real. Or I cancel my belief that this person in my family is bad. I'm infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. Just what is bring up, or I cancel my anger at this family member, I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind, or God did not create um, uh, an unfair relative, so it's not real, uh, or I place this person into God's, into God's infinite light and love, or I place this difficult situation into God's infinite light and love, or as though this situation I could see peace, so you're doing that, and if there's lots of feelings or anger or sensations coming up, just sitting with those feelings and releasing that. That's a very, very powerful way. Because these, this is often part of the, I would say, collective karma of the family unit. So as you're just feeling that, they will also start to get some relief. Mm -hmm. As well as you're just releasing these family patterns, they'll also be... So what's happening as you're clearing yourself is the, 
the level of, your level of consciousness is increasing. And remember, the higher your consciousness level goes, that will allow more light and more miracles. The potentiality for more light and more miracles in the family situation mm. is, is more likely to happen. So you just want to, rather than... Now, the flip side is when you go into ego, you try and control the situation. You see, so if you're going, well, these are bad and I have to tell them they're bad and I've got to control them. So, like Hawkins would say, one of his first books was Power versus Force. You see, like if I'm trying to control a situation, tell someone they're wrong and force them to change, then I don't have any spiritual power. I'm using ego force to manipulate them. To so, that might seem to have a seem to work, but it often doesn't bring lasting change because it's not done through authentic power. It doesn't really invite miracles. Like, if I tell someone, look, you have to behave differently, or otherwise I'm going to hit you on the head, they might change for a while, but it's a difficult thing to, to sustain. You see, whereas if uh, you've done the spiritual work and they change through that inner, some, some inner prompt or some miracle, then that's more likely to be a lasting solution than forcing people to change. Um, so as you go up the levels of consciousness, and also as you go up levels of consciousness, there's more light and love, and they're more likely to change of their own volition because more light's coming in. Also, as you as you go higher in consciousness by clearing the data, what you see as being wrong, feeling the feelings and clearing the data, um, the universe will start to bring in solutions, left, right, and centre, to try and help the situation, because uh, that's what is being attracted in all that light and love. Uh, you can you're practicing the observer as well. So I think, you know, if it's hitting, if a family situation is hitting you hard, then just, you know, putting in the spiritual work. I always like to, unless, unless it's vital to intervene, uh, when it's vital or important or, uh, you know, then intervention is necessary. But I, if I don't have to intervene, I prefer doing spiritual work myself rather than, because there's a danger of me trying to control and, and use force. And, in the universe, when you use force, you usually get, the, there's an equal and opposite force that comes back. <clears throat> you see, and when things are, when you're using love, or releasing, or clearing data, then there's, the, then that usually brings in a more permanent and more loving resolution to problems than when you're trying to control and force a situation by telling people how they should behave and how, they, and how they're wrong. Which, can, which may work in the short term, but may not be the long term thing. So, if possible, use power and love and release and clearing data unless it's necessary. Okay.